Hey there, biology student. I've got all the material here today to help you inoculate your auger plate for this week's investigation. I have a sample of bacteria in a broth. I have a micro pipette for 50 microliters. I have my Petri dish. I have my micro pipette tips. And I have some parafilm, which is a wax-like uh, substance that we can use to seal up the plates. And if we don't have this available in lab, we'll probably have scotch tape. We can use that too. Here's my Petri dish, uh, and it does not have auger in it because I'm just using this one for demonstration purposes. When you come to lab uh, during your lab time, you will get a Petri dish with auger in it, and it's sort of a gelatin-like substance. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take on the bottom, on the bottom part, I'm going to draw the segments for my, uh, for my plate, so that way I can say, oh, I want to... I want to put uh, you know, a certain type of antibiotic over here and a certain type of antibiotic over there and maybe leave one as a control or something like that. Whatever, you can divide it in half or quarters or thirds, whatever is appropriate for your experiment. And then you may want to label which side or which, which area is which on the bottom. That way when you look at it from the top, you can, you can see uh, what, what your treatments are. All right, so. What I want you to pay attention to is that while I'm doing this, I'm going to try to leave everything as clean as possible. Right now, these tips in this box, they're sterile. So I'm going to quickly open and close this box, put a, put a tip on, close the box, and inoculate my plate. It may be a good idea to get a second set of hands to do this from your lab partner. Okay, so quickly open this, jab the pipette down into a tip, close the box. Then maybe have your lab partner open the top to the Petri dish. I'm going to unscrew the top of my bacteria sample. What I want you to notice about this pipette is that it has two locations or stops for the plunger. So it has one where you push it down, and this is the, uh, this is the stop that you'd want to use when you're about to draw a sample up into the pipette tip. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I have acquired a sample. So I'm going to put the lid back on my bacteria, and I'm always going to carry the pipette vertically, so that way the sample stays down in the bottom of the tip. Then, to discharge the sample, I'm going to push all the way down to the second stop. There we go. So I have discharged 50 microliters onto my plate, cover it back up. Normally I would dispose of this tip in a special container, but I'm going to move on to the next part here, so I'm just going to set this aside. But normally you'd throw that away. Then we're going to put a couple of glass beads into, open up the lid, put a couple of glass beads in here, and sort of swirl the plate back and forth in a figure eight motion. This one's kind of noisy. Swirl the plate back and forth in a figure eight motion, and those glass beads will roll around and spread the bacteria out all over the plate. And you do that for a couple of minutes, and it will spread the bacteria all over your plate. Let it sit for a little while to let that bacteria solution soak in. And then you can add, lastly, you can add your antibiotics or, or whatever it is that your antibiotic discs or whatever it is that you're going to add. Uh, to seal that once you do that, you may want to write your name and your group number on the lid. To seal the plate, you can then use parafilm. And parafilm, like I said, is sort of a stretchy wax-like, I don't know, paper or film, I guess. And it will stretch out, kind of like Glad Press and Seal. Once your uh, bacteria solution has soaked into the plate, you can then take the parafilm and stretch it all the way around the sides. And this will create, oh, I stretched a little too far. This will create a nice seal. Fortunately, it's kind of sticky. A nice seal all the way around that you can use to keep your lid of your plate to the bottom of the plate. If we don't have parafilm for some reason, you can always just take a couple pieces of scotch tape and stick them on the side like that. Do that a couple more times and seal it up that way. Okay, then make sure it's properly labeled with your group number in the day of your lab and uh, give it to your TA to place in the incubator.